A couple of years ago, Sibelco uh, launched a new global standard for mobile equipment. And one aspect of that global standard was a requirement to implement proximity detection systems for pedestrians on all forklift trucks. So we looked at two systems, trialled them on sites uh, as part of a global project. So this involved colleagues in the UK, in Australia and America, all doing trials on the same systems. Um, at one of our other sites in the UK, at King Stainton, we trialled the Avonwood Zone Safe system. Now this works on different technology using a tag which is worn by every pedestrian. The system detects the presence of those tags whenever a person comes within range of the forklift truck. And again, it sets off an alarm which brings their presence to the attention of the forklift driver. When we were trialling the Avonwood Zone Safe system, we realised that in situations where there's a lot of close operational interaction between the pedestrian and the forklift truck, for example at bagging plants, we were getting a lot of unnecessary alarms, sometimes as many as 100 unnecessary alarms every hour. So working in collaboration with the equipment manufacturers, we helped them to develop uh, a new device, it's called the Q-Box, uh, which overcomes that problem. The Q-Box uh, is fixed in the workstation above where the workers are, uh, are operating, and it's sending out a signal to tell their tags, you're in a safe place, you can stay quiet, there's no need to set off the alarm because you're in a safe place. And so it avoids all those unnecessary alarms. The system that we trialled at Brassington was called Arcure Blackstair. Now this is a system which uses a stereoscopic camera which detects the presence of the human form. It detects people who are within a range of five or six metres of a forklift truck and sets off an alarm which then brings the presence of that pedestrian to the attention of the forklift driver. The Blackstair proximity detection system was implemented on site and we thought the, uh, the best way of uh, success was to nominate a person to champion the project uh, which would help uh, with the best opportunity for success. Uh, the, the champion spent some time with uh, Blackstair, Arcure Blackstair, and they had time to learn how to set the, set the equipment up, make any relevant changes dependent on where we were using the equipment in the workplace. The champion put forward some uh, surveys to the workforce to get feedback on the system, uh, to, to get the feelings of, of what, what uh, the workforce thought to the system. The champion also developed a toolbox talk. He did this without guidance or instruction to uh, give the system the best chance of success. Very good actually, I do, do quite like it and when people understand what it's looking for, when you speak to the drivers and say because there's two different zones, whether it's obstacles or pedestrians, uh, and explain to them, just tell them what they are looking for and why it is alarming at certain times. They fully understand and they quite like it now. There's around 600 forklifts that these systems are going to be fixed to. Now, we do see these systems as an extra level of protection. Okay, the main thing we need to be doing on our sites is separating the pedestrians from the mobile equipment, so the risk is eliminated in that way. But these pedestrian proximity dissection systems, they add an extra layer of protection by giving an extra sense, if you like, to the forklift driver uh, to tell him that somebody's in the vicinity of their forklift truck, somebody perhaps they haven't noticed uh, as they've been driving around.